Hey there, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm about halfway done with my island and as you could probably tell by the video title, I'm finally comfortable giving a little bit of a tour. The first thing you may have noticed is my new path design. I actually made it myself, I know super creative titles. I'll probably get around to changing those later. But I'm super happy with how it came out, I think it's a great version of the path. I had found a template for it on Pinterest and I wasn't really feeling my old one anymore. I loved how it looked in the fall, which is my favorite season, but it just didn't quite hit right in any of the others. So I went through on this one, I added the flowers because I wanted it to match my rock designs that I had, and I picked the warmer brown that I think goes with every season, in my opinion. The design itself took forever to make, so if anybody wants to use it, please let me know if you do. I think it came out really cute. If I get enough requests for a flowerless version, I will make one. I'm just kind of lazy. Anyway, back to the tour. I hate designing in the snow, but for the sake of the season almost ending, I decided to give the tour in the winter. My updated dream address down in the description will have the island in spring though if you'd like to see the difference. Over this way is my campsite. I've had this spot done for quite a bit, even before I even started on my farm or anything. I just didn't feel like it was that big enough an area to have its own video for, plus it's evolved a bunch since I started anyway, so it kind of wouldn't have been consistent. Over here by the river, I'm setting up a little like astrology area for my fragments. I want the moon up there on the cliff eventually. I just about never play at night, so it's just not going to get finished until I grind for that stuff. We're just not going to talk about over there. I might get there and clean some of that up for my next video. We'll see. I just, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> this front part of the entrance itself hasn't really been updated since the last time I've shown it. So I'll just pretty quickly walk through it. I don't think I've shown off this little area or bridge to the left here yet. I like how it looks. It's going to lead over towards a little beach resort or tropical area that I'm going to work on. It's probably going to be one of the last places I finish though because I'll have to build another house and grind for all that money. Also, ignore the peach on the pedestal. It's just kind of a placeholder for now, but honestly, I, I kind of like it, so it might stay. We'll see. Up at the town square, I really haven't made any changes other than maybe like upgrading my house and moving these benches so I could fit the path under it. But basically everything's still the same since I made that video. It is still one of my favorite places on my island and I love seeing my villagers interact around the area. To help include the town hall in this little kind of town square area I have on my island, I extended the cottages over here to the right. I had this little tiny square cubby left over over here. So I decided to put in this little post office. I love how cute it turned out, and I felt like I really needed one somewhere on the island. I really wanted the farm over here to have its own video, but I made so many changes since starting the area that it's practically impossible to give you a good idea of how it was made with the clips that I have of it. But everything over here is going to have a somewhat Legend of Zelda theme. That's why I have like the opponent looking springy ride on, and even the ocarina in front of the scarecrow to look like the dancing scarecrow that's in a couple of the games. I'll show off on a few of my other Zelda ideas once I finish the interior of the farmhouse. Over here is my orchard. I only use one of every tree because I never really sell fruit anyway and I thought any more would just be a bit excessive. This little picnic spot came out so cute. I like that I used the dirt instead of like one of the picnic blanket designs that you might find. Not only because it's super cute, but I think it saves design slot space too. Back over here at my farm, another thing I want to show you is just about my favorite design I've ever made. These cute little ducklings don't look great from every angle, sure, but with the amount of decoy ducks I had on my island, I felt they were almost necessary. The little watermelon field with coconut sprouts over here isn't necessarily Zelda themed, but I really wanted to include it when I saw it on Pinterest. Over here is where I'm planting my rock garden. I'm not going to fuss about getting all the rocks in the right spot until I finish the rest. Then I might try the mannequin trick or something. And then there's my mine, which is one of the cutest things I think I've ever designed. I had this idea as soon as I saw one of these caves made with the black simple panels and the stone arch. Then I used like the serving cart and some gnomes and other things like that to make it look like it was actually being used. And I think it came out so adorable. <laughs> You should recognize this next area if you saw my last video on the museum I made. I'm slowly adding some little decorations and fossils and things over here and it's kind of coming together, but I'm still not 100% happy with it. 
The spoiled turnips over here sometimes spawn ants, and I think they make great decoration, but I have it in a few spots on my island, and they don't always spawn everywhere at the same time, unfortunately. Over here is the museum, as I was saying. I'm still obsessed with this spot. Ignore the missing statue, I'll have a new one before I update the dream address. Let me know if you have any ideas on like little fossils or things that could go over here, I'm open to anything. Over this way leads down to my market, which I'm still not happy with either. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it like all fruit and all food or if I'm gonna keep this other stall seasonal. I just don't know. I like the layout, I like the boxes, I'm just not feeling it, you know what I mean? Last but not least, I'm going to head back through my town square to show you the most recent addition I've made to my island. I really needed some sort of outdoor crafting space. I have a table in like the back room of my house or I could go all the way to resident services, but it's just so much quicker having somewhere right here, especially right behind nooks. Like if I need to customize something, I can run in, grab some kits real quick, and then run back out. It's just a really nice thing to have. I'm obsessed with like the color direction and the fencing and the shelf behind the bench. I think it came out looking so nice. I also added another cottage way back here on a top level just to kind of include everything and bring all this little space together. Little things like this really help add to the background of some spaces. The biggest project I have ahead of me is probably the neighborhood. I still have a lot of villager hunting to do. I know exactly what villagers I want where I'm going to put all their houses. It's going to take up a good majority of this top left portion of the map. I know where all their houses are going to go, in what order, for what reasoning. I'm being super extra about it. I just don't have the villagers yet. After that, I just have a few small areas like the beach resort I was talking about, a few of the beaches, a couple other special villager yards I want to do, and then it'll be finished. A few other small updates might include like some of the festival furniture. I think a lot of that will look great, like the light up balloons and stuff like that in my town square. And I also recently found the green leaf pile DIY, which I've been searching for forever, and I plan on loading my island up with those. I'm really, really excited. Well that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Isn't Land so far. If you have any other questions or feedback, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and your time. And I'll see you in the next one.